Data Inspector is an easy to use tool for finding transcription factor binding sites in a DNA sequence. It uses the binding site definitions in MatBase, the genomatic transcription factor knowledge base. In most cases, the number of binding site matches in a promoter will be far above 100. To support you in the selection of the most likely candidates, Mat Inspector provides additional lines of evidence for the functionality of a binding site. There can be up to five different types of supporting evidence for a binding site in a promoter. A matching transcription factor can be co-cited with a target gene. There can be expert curated evidence for a functional relationship between a corresponding transcription factor and the target gene. A binding site match can be part of a match to a model that describes a known functional promoter module. A binding site match can correlate with a chip thick peak for a matching transcription factor. And finally, a binding site can be in an evolutionary conserved region. In this tutorial, you will learn how to retrieve and analyze a promoter with MAT Inspector and how you can use the supporting information to filter the result for the most interesting binding sites. The following example shows a promoter analysis for the human IL-10 gene. This gene codes for interleukin-10, a regulatory cytokine, which plays a role in inflammation and immunoregulation. In the genomatic suite, you can start MAT Inspector from the gene regulation menu. In the MAT Inspector interface, you can now quickly select the promoters for analysis using the Genematics Eldorado Genome Promoter Annotation, even if you have only a MAT Inspector license. Alternatively, you can still upload any of your own sequences. To select the promoters, you first select the gene by typing a gene identifier into the gene search field. The identifier can be the gene symbol, the gene name, or even the gene ID. I'm going to use the gene symbol IL10 for interleukin 10. A drop-down list opens from which I choose the human IL-10 gene. To proceed to the promoter selection, press the continue button. On the next page, you find a list of the annotated promoters for your gene and of the transcripts whose expression they control. Here you can select the promoters for the analysis. For this example, I use only the first promoter and deselect the others. This promoter controls a coding RASIC transcript and has a genomatics optimized length of 950 base pairs. The second promoter has only non-coding transcripts associated and the third promoter belongs to a predicted transcript. By pressing the continue with MAT inspector button, you open the search parameter page. Using the default settings, we will search for all matrices in the core promoter and vertebrate matrix groups and show additional lines of evidence for binding site matches. Press the Submit Query button to start the search. The result has three parts. The match details show a sorted list of the matches. The graphical view displays the matches as colored boxes on the promoter and the match summary table contains match numbers and overrepresentation p-values. The first columns in the match details table show the binding site family symbol and description and the binding site matrix representing the family at this position. Matches are sorted by position within the sequence. The matrix similarity is a measure for the similarity of the sequence at this position to the binding site matrix. Additional lines of evidence for functionality of a binding site are shown in this column. You can filter the list by typing text into the filter fields. To filter for matches with additional lines of evidence originating from a model match, you can enter model in the evidence filter field. The list is filtered automatically as you type. 13 binding site matches are part of a model match. For example, the IRFF and STAT matches at position 630 and 696 are both part of the same model match. These matches are also both supported by co-citation and functional evidence. Follow the links to the corresponding transcription factors in the evidence field 
to display supporting citations, for example, support for regulation of IL-10 by STAT-3. This opens a genomatic slit inspector page. The two genes are highlighted in the text, and you can jump to the abstracts in PubMed using the PubMed ID link. In the graphical view, the binding site matches in the promoter are shown as colored shapes on the plus and the minus strand. Binding site matches frequently overlap. The bent arrow denotes the transcription start site of the corresponding transcript. You can deselect and select binding sites of a type by using the select and deselect all buttons and the checkboxes on the right hand side. For example, after clicking on the deselect all button, you can activate the IRFF and stub matches. The hits in this region between 600 and 700 base pairs represent the two matches I pointed out before. Finally, the match summary table gives you an overview of the match numbers for each type of binding site, including a p-value for the overrepresentation of the binding site. That's it for now. Thank you for listening to this tutorial.